Ma'am, excuse me. Wouldn't you like to buy this umbrella from me? I'm in need of money and I'm selling it. No, I don't like it. Friend, excuse me. Hey, wouldn't you like to buy this umbrella from me? I'm raising money to be able to eat something. No, please leave. I am not interested in your umbrella. Friend, excuse me. Wouldn't you like to buy me this umbrella? Look, what happens is that I am raising money to be able to eat and, well, I am in need, friend. No, no. No? No, I can't. Well, thank you very much. You really need the money? Yes. The truth is that I need it very much. I'm very hungry, and I haven't eaten anything. Well, I have three dollars. Three dollars? Of course, the truth is that the umbrella is priceless, but I just want some money. Take it. Thank you very much. No, it's okay. No? No, you sell it. Really? Yeah, don't problem. Hey, friend. I really want to thank you very much for offering me those three dollars, but... Can I ask you something? Yes. Why did you decide to buy it from me? It's just... Well, I remember when I was in the sun, too. So... There's no problem. You can sell it. And how? I mean, you were in the sun? Where? Well, I was working... in... Uh, I was a mason two years ago. And I got a spot. I was scratching a lot and it grew. The spot grew? The spot and I got another one on my leg. Uh-huh. And that's because of what? Well, they told me it was genetic and then I found out it was cancer. I'm from the sun. The sun? Yes, from the sun. I mean, when you were a mason? Yes. You worked in the sun? All day long. How long ago was that? Two years ago. Two years? But, how? I mean, I don't understand. Were you working with a person as a mason? Were you in the sun? Did you get a welt? Yes. And did it spread? It spread, it's growing. Right now, I don't have any money for not my treatments or anything. And now I've what do you to mean? distract myself a little bit. What's your name, friend? Alex. Alex, nice to meet you. My name is Pepe. And well, my dear Alex, I don't know if you have some... A few minutes to talk to me. I was very interested in what you are going through with you. I don't know if you can give me five or ten minutes. Do you have time? Yes. And look, in all confidence, I am dedicated to sell these umbrellas to help me more than anything else. And if it's possible, I can also lend you a hand. How? Well, by talking, just talking. What do you think? Okay. Yes? Yes. Well, come on, let's sit down. Well, Alex, I want to thank you for accepting this time with me. I'll take more than 10, 15 minutes. Thank you for agreeing to come and have a little refreshment here with me. Cheers. Thank you for... for having helped me with these three dollars that I still have here. You're going to get out of hand, but... something like this has happened to you before? That some stranger would want to talk to you? No, never. Never? Never. Never in life? No. And why did you agree, my dear Alex? Well, by instinct. Was it? Yes. That's good, Alex. Hey, tell me a little bit. I would like you to tell me a little bit about the disease you have. You tell me that some spots came out. How did they detect them? What happened? Tell me a little bit. Well, it was a while ago. It wasn't that long ago. I noticed it because my dad had the same thing. It was very hard uh, to know that. They told me I didn't go to get checked. You never checked yourself? Never. But how were it begin? Like a welt? A mole? What happened? It's like a mole. It's a spot. It's like this. Did it expand? It expanded. It's like round and it's getting bigger and bigger. Did it make you itch? Yes, a lot. I'm like this all day long very annoying. Well, my dad, uh, my parents are divorced. Oh, don't tell me that, Alex. Divorced. My mom, she won't even talk to me. Why? Did you have a fight with her? It's just that she says, I'm a burden. Really? Is that what your mom says? We're having this Alex, it really makes me very, very, very sad. Well, that... 
that you're going through this situation. And I know it's very heavy, it's very sad to feel frustration like that. Divorced parents, it's a hard thing to do. And where is your dad? I don't know. You don't know? He left with another woman. With another woman. And your mom? She doesn't even want to see me. She doesn't want to see you? Alex, it makes me very sad to see you like this. You're carrying a heaviness on your shoulders, my friend. But tell me, take it out of your horse chest. Remember that one's chest is not a cellar. It's that my parents always fight in front of me. I had a little brother. I don't remember what he looks like anymore. You never saw him anymore? I never saw him anymore. I stopped talking to everyone. I was separated because of this. Those are expensive skin treatments. Very expensive. You have a dermatologist? Yes. I'm never going to complete. In other words, you do not complete with the money you earn in the company. No. I will never ever do it. You won't? Never. Not ten years from now, working every day. Not ever. And what would you think, my dear Alex, if I told you that today is the day that can change everything? My dear Alex, I want to tell you something. Please don't take this the wrong way. Stop scratching. I know you're itchy, but... I can't. I can't. Sorry, I'm sorry. I saw you scratched yourself a lot. Well, don't you have any ointment or something? Nothing. I don't complete anything. Well, look, please don't take what I'm about to tell you the wrong way. What is happening right now is a social experiment in which I dedicate myself and my team to find people with a good heart, just like you. Just like you, my dear Alex. That I approached you with several people I told you. So when I approached you, I offered them my umbrella and a very rude lady threw it on the floor. Another person threw it at me. One of them pushed me and even beat me up. Look, I came across a tremendous life story and with three dollars, I would like to multiply to you, Alex. Well, let's go outside so we can talk. Now I'll buy you something to eat out there so that you can... So you can see what I have prepared for you. What do you think? Yes. Shall we go? Come on, yes, that face I like smiling and not tears. Okay, let's go. Well, my dear Alex, we've already moved here and I want to thank you for those three bucks that you tell me that I keep bringing them here in the bag. Are yours? No, no, no. On the contrary, I mentioned to you that this is a social experiment, and this I want to give back to you. Take them, please. Take them, you, you sure? earned them. Yes, very sure. All right, take them, please. And well, do you remember the umbrella I offered you at the beginning of this conversation? Yes. Well, I'd like to borrow your hand without you taking it the wrong way. And I want us to press this button here together. Because I want you to see what's inside the umbrella. Imagine you're walking out the door, and you don't see what's inside. I think you would have hit your head on your head. You would have regretted it so much. Why? Because after you see what's inside, I know you're going to like what's inside very, very much. And even more, because you told me that you need a treatment for your skin. Is that correct? Yes. Isn't it? You keep bringing it back. And it's something we all need. So I'd like you, together with me, to press this button. One, two, three. Check it out. What? How about that? Could be yours. Take it. It's yours, I'm giving it to you. Of course it's yours, and you know I'm not even giving it to you. You earned it for your good heart. For your good heart. Alex, that money is for you, for the treatment of your skin, so that you stop suffering, so that you can go to the dermatologist and pay for that ointment that is very expensive. 
Oh God. It's yours, enjoy it, it's for you. Thank you, can I hug you? Of course you can. Good things happen to people with good hearts. Good things happen to them, so, you know, friends, always, always help people. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you, my dear Alex, for having a good heart. You will be able to treat those welts kit you. that money. And so thank you. Thank you for having a good heart. And please keep it up by helping other people, without looking at whom. Take it away, it's yours now. May you do very well. Thank you.